Okay, in this video, I want to quickly show you how to use the LMBF watch list indicator. So here I have a blank chart with no indicators on it. I'm just going to drag the LMBF watch list indicator onto the chart. And you see there's an opportunity to enter the name of a new watch list if required. So I'm going to call it Graham's list. Okay. Let's see that when we Graham's list comes up on the screen and if we tab left, we also have the default one which is created for you called favourites. I now go to a different chart and add the indicator in. You'll see that we have these same two charts added. Now I'm using the arrows to move through the watch list. You can actually use a tab key as well, which is actually a little bit easier sometimes. If I go to USDN, I will do the same thing. and also on a euro dollar in this case i'm going to create a third list which i'm going to call graham's other list okay so now you can see that there's another list there and if i go to these it also shows the other list as the third list we can tab through these to get to whichever list we want to have active okay so if we now want to add symbols into a list you just literally select the list you want to add so i'll start with graham's list and use the plus equals button on your keyboard or just click on add a chart symbol and you'll see that the symbol for this chart is added into the watch list if i go to the other charts for the same list you see that that symbol appears in that loss watch list as well okay so here's usd yen i'm just going to use the keyboard this time add it in it comes up in red because this is the same chart as this symbol if we go to the dax chart you find that only the dax chart comes up that symbol comes up on this chart as red it's a quick way of showing you that you're on the chart for that particular symbol. Okay, now go to the USD, Euro USD chart, and I will add that in as well, just by that. And if we go to my other list, I'm gonna add it onto that list as well. So you can quickly see that it's very easy to add symbols to whichever list you want. And then you can easily move between them now what i'm going to do is just quickly tile these charts so you can see how they react as you add and take away symbols so i'm on graham's list and all of them i'm going to take off the euro dollar from this aussie cad chart and you'll find that it disappears from all the other charts as well now I'm also going to go to Graham's other list and just delete that using the negative key next to it and you'll find it disappears from all the charts as well. So these are all kept in absolute sync with each other. Before I continue any further, I just want to show you a couple of useful features which help in the display of the watch list. I did find that there are different resolution screens then sometimes the watch list may be a bit too small to see or compressed or it might be too spread out so I've made the keys one two three four available to control either the spacing or that's for keys one and two or the font size using keys three and four so for example if I press one on let me activate a chart you can see it just reduces the spacing or two increases it or if i use three and four i can just make the text font size slightly bigger or smaller to whatever i want it to be so that's quite useful just to help you 
make it more visible and easier to see. Moving on, we can see that we have the watch list favorites, which was automatically generated. And this is a slightly special watch list in that if you go to any other watch list, you can click on the plus button and that will add the button, add the symbol to your favorites list. And it shows this by having a little star by it in red. So if we now go to my favorites list, you can see this is added in or we can take it off again and go back and see that the stars disappeared and actually remember to press the USD yen one, which we can do. Go back and there it is. Now, sometimes you do want to um, remove all the symbols from a list very quickly. So let me just first add some symbols to a list. Uh, which one we got? What's it CAD? But let's say I don't actually want those, so I can actually say either click on delete all symbols or use the shift shift minus key to delete all the symbols at one go. And there you go, empty. So now I have nothing in favorites. Once again, I'm just going to scroll to Graham's list and I'm going to add all of the symbols into that list, such as that. And just to show you, if you want to explode that, you can actually quickly move through oops, the relative charts to display whichever symbol you want just by clicking on the symbol on the chart. So that's quite simple and you're quite useful and you'll, you'll see why very shortly. So the last feature I want to show you is that there is the possibility of automatically populating some watch lists or creating new watch lists based on certain criteria. And this is something that will be developed more in the future. But just to give you a little indication, I am going to first create a new list, which I'm going to call all symbols. And let's say all major currency pairs. OK, that. Close that. We have an empty watch list, all major currency pairs. And then I'll just press the M key and there we go. We have a watch list with all the major currency pairs in. If I want, I can shift minus to get rid of that. And in this case, I do, instead of pressing the M key, I do the shift M key. And that gives you all currency pairs available from your broker. So not just the major currency pairs. Again, shift minus deletes everything. In a similar vein, we can also use some predefined lists that allow us, for example, to find all pin bars that are formed on a particular time frame. So let's say we want to see all pin bars for all symbols on the weekly chart. So the first thing I will do is go to the weekly time frame. And then I will press either P, if I just want to consider the major currency symbols, or Shift P, if I want to consider all symbols available from my broker. In this case, I'll just press P. And here we have two currencies which have pin bars for the weekly charts. So if I click on the Aussie N, you see I have this one here. Click on the Aussie dollar, we have this one here. And you'll notice that what it's done is actually created a new watch list called W1 pin bars. We now go to the daily charts and do a similar thing. It creates a new watch list called D1 pin bars. And here we have all the currencies which have a pin bar formed as its last completed candle. So let's go.
KPN, which have this pin bar here. Oops, I put it on there. Euro dollar. Kiwi dollar. It's all showing very prominent pin bars. It's silver. So we can do this for any time frame we want. So if you're trading small time frames, you might want to look at the H4 chart. Do P. moment and you'll notice that now we have a final watch list called h4 pin bars where we have the euro dollar not sure why it's moving back but we'll just go back to the h4 pin bars so there we have a not particularly good pin bar on there euro cad again not particularly good on there um pound cad none of those are particularly wonderful ones now in this case i'm going to do shift m so that we use all available symbols from the broker instead of just the main currency pairs so if i do shift m and there's obviously a lot more symbols in this particular instance and shift p gives you all the symbols including indices and the more exotic currencies so for example here we have crude oil the little pin bar just there you're against the swedish krona and pin bar there so a very easy way of finding pin bars for the last completed candle without having to tab through all the charts available if you update these or run the process press p again for instance then this will just overwrite what's already there and update with the new set of currencies that have formed pin bars if you want to get rid of them just delete the list tab through to whichever one you want to get rid of Click on whichever pair you want to see so you can actually quickly look at the chart. And this is really powerful to help you get to the, the currencies that you really want to focus on quickly. So that's all I want to show you in this video. I hope that's been useful. I'm open to any questions. Just contact me at graham at letmebefree.com and I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for listening.